Welcome to Cat School. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you all the tools you need to start training your cat. Good. Hi, we are Julie and Jones, and we show you how to <laughs> teach your cat fun and practical skills to enrich their life with training. Good. It's time to gather your school supplies so you can start your training journey. The first thing you need is a clicker. I'm opening up the Cat School training kit to yes. show you the tools that I use to train Jones. You also need a student that's ready to work. The small device that I hold in my hand that makes a clicking sound is called a clicker. When you start training, the first thing you will do is teach your cat that one click equals one treat. Once you've paired the clicker with food, your cat will know they earned a reward. The click tells Jones he did it right, and that's why he's looking up at me to get his reward. The click <laughs> is a promise to your cat that a treat is coming, and you have to keep that promise. One click equals one treat, always and forever. Think of the clicker like taking a snapshot of the behavior you want to reward. I'm clicking the split second he raises his right paw to let him know that's the desired behavior. Observe the following clip. Jones raises his paw, he goes into the sit pretty, and he's in a sit position. Now I give him a treat. Which action earned Jones a reward? Now watch the same clip with the sound on. Using the clicker, I let Jones know that sit pretty is the behavior that earns the reward. Once he knows that's what I want, he's going to start repeating it to keep winning at training. Now you can see that he understands which behavior he should continue to offer. Good. <laughs> One question I get a lot is, can't you use a word instead of a clicker? I hope you've seen from the clips how much faster a clicker is and that it also has a distinct sound and gives your cat clear communication. Cats are fast and we need a clicker to capture these split second actions. <laughs> Do you have a grabby cat? You're gonna need the clicker to communicate to them that patience earns the reward. Good. Will you always need to carry a clicker to train your cat? No, the clicker is a teaching tool. After your cat learns the behavior, you don't need to rely on the clicker. Yes. In this clip, Jones already knows the signal to rest his chin yes. on my hand. So here I'm just using the verbal signal mm. yes to let him know he got it right. Yes. Good job. The thing about the clicker is that your cat will love hearing the sound. They'll get excited when they know they did something right. The next school supply you need is a target stick. We teach the cat to touch their nose to the ball end of the target stick. Then we can use the tool to teach lots of different behaviors. The target stick is a great tool for teaching your cat to go in and out of the backpack or carrier. The target stick stands out in the environment and provides clear communication for your cat. Good. While it can be valuable to teach your cat to respond to your finger as a signal, teaching your cat to follow a target stick requires a different level of attention than your finger. For teaching spin, there's nothing wrong with starting with food in your hand. But if you want your cat to understand the behavior and not be distracted by the food, the target stick is a good next step. You can see how his brain has to work a little bit harder for this training challenge. Without the food guiding him, he has to think a little bit harder about how to turn his body. Yes! Excellent! So if you're deciding whether to use a target stick or a finger target, yes. consider the following things. A target stick will stand out in the environment, it will prevent your cat from getting distracted when you're holding food, 
and because of its retractability, you can present the signal right in front of your cat to make it easy for them to respond. The target stick is a great tool for grabby cats because it teaches them they have to do the work first before they get the reward. For cats that are fearful of humans, you can use the target stick like an icebreaker. Gordon is a little bit cautious of me, but I can use the target stick to help him start working with me at a distance. He touches the target stick and then I throw the treat away. I could extend the target stick even further if he was scared of getting too close. If you want to have a lot of success training your cat, you need to use food as a reward. Food is the best reward for training your cat. Using food, you can teach your cat so many skills and tricks. Cats that are food motivated are highly trainable. Good. Are you worried that your cat will gain weight from training with treat? You can use a portion of your cat's meals for training. A really easy way to start is to teach your cat to follow a spoon with wet food. Another school supply you need is a treat pouch. It's a good idea to hide your treats in a treat pouch to keep your cat from getting distracted. A treat pouch also Yay. makes it easy to quickly reward your cat. In order to train your cat, you need for them to be motivated to learn. Practice before meal times when your cat is hungry. For cats that are just starting to learn, it's really important that you keep the sessions short and easy. You want your cat to see that training is fun and they get lots of rewards. Every cat can learn to love the sound of the clicker. There will be a certain distance that your cat can hear the click and not get nervous. One way to do this is to stand outside a room with the door shut, click, and then toss the treat at them. This will become a fun game for your cat and help them get over the scary clicking sound. I hope I answered some questions that you have about training. You need a clicker and you need food rewards that your cat loves. Thanks for watching and have fun clicking with your cat.